Hello fellow hunters, welcome back to Who's Your Place. And in today's video we will be talking about the fastest and most efficient ways of killing any AI boss. To start off I would like to say that there are multiple ways of killing any boss but my focus will be on speed and stealth. Remember that killing the boss is not, is not always a good idea if you're gonna take a long time to kill it. The risk that while enemy hunters enter the boss lair while you are engaged with the boss. New players tend to make this mistake plenty of times. Using guns to kill the boss is also not a great way to kill the boss if you're gonna take a long time. Plus, you're gonna be wasting a lot of bullets which we'll be needing because the enemy is surely like to come. So my fastest methods include mostly melee weapons. Now to start off with the most basic thing which is the weakness of any boss is the wound area that is highlighted. For spider is that face beneath its body, for the assassin it's that wound on his upper chest, for butcher is that weird upper chest area from where you can see the leeches. Now let's get on with the methods. Let's start off with the number one method. Using consumables play a big role in this game whether it's PvE or PvP element of the game. Consumables are basically of two types, bombs and shots. My focus here on the number one method will be bombs. The most effective consumables are the bombs. Most noticeably the sticky bomb and the big dynamite bundle when it comes to killing the boss. Although each of these cost a bit much, but they are very handy when it comes to killing the boss. Using sticky bomb almost takes 70% HP from the boss. Just make sure you don't miss the target since the target tends to move a lot. The big dynamite bundle however can one shot any boss but it can be a problem if you miss the target since both spider and assassin move plenty and very fast except for the butcher. So my pick would be the sticky bomb, use melee weapons to finish off the boss once you use the sticky bomb. The number second method is using stamina shots. Since stamina shots are very effective in killing the boss using heavy melee weapons such as axe or hammer. While antidote shots allow you to fight the spider like it's a piece of cake since most of the damage comes from the poison. Also the pesky annoying hive are not a big problem anymore for the rest of the match. Either if you're using antidote shot which lasts for 3600 seconds. While choosing melee weapons, go for axe instead of hammer since it also induces bleeding on the boss. Spider and assassin are vulnerable to fire to a great extent as well, so you can use both lanterns placed near the lair or find a melee weapon which you can find nearby most of the time. The fastest way is to have all your teammates grab a melee weapon and go at the boss in a frenzy. Believe it, it is fast. The number third method that I'm gonna be talking about is using bomb plants. Most normal enemy AI are one hit from this weapon except for maybe emulator and meathead, which can be taken down using its sharpened throw. This weapon is most effective against any boss, but remember that its usage it cost a bit of a stamina, so consider taking a stamina shot or a weak stamina shot in the start of the match or take a weak stamina shot before you go to the boss lair if you plan on just using melee for, from the bomb lands. One hit from one of the sharpnels can almost take out 20% of the boss health and given that you have about 5 sharpnels which can be replenished using special ammo, I suggest you go and use three, 2 or 3 of those sharpnels before finish it off with the heavy melee of the bomb lance. This is most efficient and fast. Just make sure that you this is the best method of taking care of the PV aspect of the game, however I suggest you do take a strong second gun like upper cut or packs to facilitate the fight from medium range. Some traits that I wanted to mention that can help and facilitate you while killing any boss are Adrenaline, Bloodless since Assassin uses a blade which causes extensive bleeding, Horn Skin which allows you to take 25% less damage from melee attacks from both Butcher and Assassin, Mithridist which halves the poison duration but if you're using anti shot this trait is no longer needed, Self Skin against Butcher since his melee attacks also causes burning, Using Greyhound only enhances your duration for sprint but does not allow you to perform multiple melee attacks. That's all for this video, I hope this video helped you in some way and if it did let me know down in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video.